Hey guys, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Akusia Behine. If you're new, you're welcome. In today's video, wait, if you're a channel subscriber, hey boo, hey boo, what it do? You know I love you, always, always. But in today's video, as per the title, I'm gonna be doing a beginner's friendly soft glam makeup look. So this is my version, what I feel like a soft glam makeup look should be looking like, you know? So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Very detailed, very beginner friendly, not gonna talk too much. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So my skin is nice and fresh, all right, okay? So I'm just gonna go straight in with the makeup. I am in the process of trying to lay my hair, so if you guys see, you know, this thing is just because I'm trying to lay my hair. But for primer, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Um, Hydro Grip Power Grip Primer. Have you guys tried this stuff before? Because I've used it a few times, and I must say, She's definitely sticky icky. <laughs> like she's literally what the girls say that she is. But she's also really nice. Um, I feel like she's a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip because it's almost the same. Almost, almost the same, literally. Almost the same, same formula and everything. I'm starting off with some color correction. I'm gonna use this palette here from Revolution Pro. Have you guys seen this before? I picked it up in Walmart and I'm like, oh, I never thought Revolution was in Walmart. Like they literally have a whole section out in Walmart um, of very affordable drugstore makeup. So I'm here for that. I'm gonna go in with the orange shade here. I think it doesn't look so orange on camera, but it definitely is a really orange. Um, but I'm just gonna use this to color correct. I like to I like to usually go directly under my eye. See how orange that looks, yep. And the brush that I'm using is from Shein, yep. So Shein does have um, some really cool beginner friendly uh, brushes that you can get. You know there are certain steps that you can use um, animal hair type brushes for and then there are certain steps that you need just regular synthetic hair brush for. So get you some Shein brushes and then I'm gonna go around my lip so next I'm gonna go in with my foundation I am using the Lancome Tien Idol. doll I'm in the shade 555 555 suede C so just in case you need me as a shade reference so I'm gonna do one pump of this maybe one and a half <laughs> just a little one and a half and just put this all over my face so i like to start from the lower part of my face because i find that i have to do more coverage in that area as compared to you know the center part of my face so because i have the color corrector on i'm gonna go over all of the color corrector like i'm literally gonna go over all my face just so that i can cover it up you know so that it doesn't look crazy when i throw my concealer over it so that I have like an even base. And I always do my base first. I find that it saves a lot of time for me personally, okay? I love this foundation. It is literally the perfect shade match for me. I always say it every time I use it because that is how I feel. Like, this thing looks hideous, but because I have to take it off on Instagram, I'm like, oh, I don't want it to go away just yet. I like to always use my beauty blender to go over my foundation um, just to like even everything out you know and then also make it much more smoother so next I'm gonna go in with my concealer I always layer my concealer it gives me a much nicer under eye look you know fuller lighter brighter all of the good things so I'm starting off with this Hyde concealer um, this is in a shade Espresso, so this is going to be my base concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. I'm using a beauty blender because I want it to be nice and soft. I'm not going for 
a full full face I'm going for a much softer soft glam look so that's the vibe Next, I'm gonna go in with my second concealer. I'm using the Bond This Way. I always call this stuff Bond This Way. So this is the Too Faced. <laughs> it is actually Bond This Way. It says here Bond This Way. It is Bond This Way. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna put this right here and do the same for here. Serve me a good bright under eye any day. I'll take it. Next, I'm going to go in with my blush. Placement is everything. I always say this with makeup, blending and placement is everything. It's literally everything. It can make or break your face and you should place your product according to how your face looks. Okay. <laughs> I have my blush in position. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye. But before I set the under eye, I want to use my beauty blender to go over my under eye. And make sure that I don't have any creasing, nothing of that sort, so I can go ahead and sit. So that way it becomes as smooth as possible, you know? So that way you're not setting into creased under eye makeup. You need to make sure that it's smooth, nice, clean, and then you can place the powder over it. So I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is in the shade Medium Deep, so... I'm going to go ahead and use that to set my under eye. So you always want to look all the way up and then press the powder in. So press it in. So you want to do that to make sure that you have a nice smooth under eye. Next, I'm going to use my contour. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is their Pro Filter Powder Foundation, but it's in the shade 450. $4.95. I always say $4.50, but $4.95. Next, I'm going to do my brows. For brows, I like to use just a brow mascara. Um, I, I find that this gives me a much softer look. You know, it gives me the nice, you know, clean girl kind of brow. So I'm just going to use that. But this stuff is pigmented, so don't get it twisted. I know it looks like, you know, you don't see anything right now. But give it, give it time. Give it some time. Okay, so my brows are done. Next, I'm going to do my eye. For my eye area, I'm really not doing so much because, again, this is soft glam. Soft glam for me, um, the really toned down version, the eye should not have anything. No. <laughs> so I'm using the same concealer that I used from Bond This Way. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out. And then I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender to press that down. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and set with this powder from Hyde. It's their Translucent Setting Powder. Um, this is in the shade Honey, but it is very light. I mean, it's light for dark skin. I'm going to use this eyeliner from Lancome. It's their new Edol liners. These are like waterproof liners, but then they also come in color. So I have them in a bunch of colors. And then this is in the shade brown. I feel like it matches the vibe that I'm going for. So I'm just gonna use this to line my eye. Do you guys see what that looks like? So it gives it like a nice chocolatey vibe, but then it's like, you know, so this is what it looks like. It is such a basic brown, but it's also so cute. I love it. Next, I'm going to use my pencil liner so that we can have some definition with the eye. So that's what she's going to be looking like. And then next, I'm going to go in with my mascara also from Lancome. <laughs> I feel like I've used so many Lancome products in this video. I love my bottom lashes. Uh, I love my bottom lashes. They look so cute. They look so perfect. I mean, the eye area is giving what I wanted it to give. Like I literally wanted it to give toned down, but then also you see that there's something there and I love it. I love it. Okay, so the eye area is done. I'm gonna go ahead and do um, bake my under eye so i'm gonna use the high setting powder i love this stuff it gives me that nice bright under eye look that i go for 
Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on and then put on my lashes, okay? So I'm gonna put on my lashes and then come back and we can go ahead and dust this off. Okay guys, so lashes are in place. I messed up my eye area when I was putting on my, like when I was trying to fix my lash. So I'm just gonna wait for that to dry all the way down so that I can take it off. Hopefully it goes away, but yeah. Yeah, I'm so mad. So I'm just gonna take this brush right here. So next I'm gonna go in with my powder. Um, I'm just gonna use my old school bad girl. If you've been here for a while, then you know. So before I do that, I want to do some reverse contour. So just something slight. So now let's go ahead and set. And then I'm just gonna take the brush that I used for the blush to just sort of reinforce that blush. Cause I like for my blush to look, you know, I like for you to see that I have my blush on. So I'm actually just gonna reapply my blush. I'm gonna reapply the blush to bring it back up. And one thing I like about the Fenty cream products is you it doesn't mess up your face even when you apply it over powder. Like it literally looks, you know, it looks so natural and so, you know, skin-like. I love it. So let's go ahead and take that off. I'm just gonna use my wand to, that's why you have to wait all the way till she's dry. Yep, and it's literally gonna go off by itself. So I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit of concealer right there to cover it up. I'm just gonna press some powder over that. Then I'll do the same for here just so that, you know, they sort of look the same. I'm gonna put on some highlighter. This is from Physicians Formula. I'm gonna focus just on my bone right here. <laughs> We're filling it. We're filling it. I'm gonna take the powder brush to just tone this side down because, you know, she's a little in the face. Okay, okay. That's more skin like. I love that. So I'm gonna take a brown lip liner. I'm an ombre lip kind of girl, so I always like to shade the inner corners of my lip. I'm gonna use this lipstick from Lime Crime. It's their soft touch lipstick. This is in the shade. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but it's in the shade Flamingo, Flamingo Pink. So Flamingo Pink. I'm just gonna put that in the center here. And then I'm gonna go over it with my favorite. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. Um, this is in the shade Stone. This is the very nude one. So I'm just gonna put that in the center. Period, period. And then I am gonna throw um, also the same Maybelline, but this is in the shade Topaz. I am done. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face, you know. <laughs> Where is my setting spray? Okay, there she is. She's right here. So this is the Urban Decay. Urban Decay. <laughs> Urban Decay. Urban Decay. <laughs> so this is the Urban Decay All Nighter um, Setting Spray. I'm gonna use that to just, you know, hold all of that together. And this is also going to help you deal with the powdery look. I don't really think I have a lot of powdery look today. Like, I love how my makeup is looking because it doesn't look so powdery. Even in like the mirror, it looks amazing. And then on camera, I feel like it looks great too, okay? But let me just go ahead and set this. Okay guys, so. So this is what we have, looking cute, 
okay looking cute i love it i love how it turned out it looks nice it looks nude it looks toned down it's a lot of products but it doesn't speak a lot of products like when you see me it's not giving she put a lot of products on but it's giving wow she looks cute you know what i'm saying so give me my coins give me my coins but this is literally it for my version of soft glam if i had to do it the very soft way i feel like it has to you know be nice and like you know nice and glowy but then also nice and toned down if i'm saying it right you know and it has to look like you but elevated so it's just like makeup that is for you but like elevated makeup i don't know if i'm saying it right but you guys get what i'm saying comment below if you have any questions i will try to list all the products that i used and showed you guys in the description box for you just in case um someone wants to like you know buy something or come back later to check that is always a good thing i also i also have my amazon storefronts linked down below so check that out okay <laughs> so go ahead and check that out um but that's it for today's video comment below if you have any questions subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that i will see you guys in my next video bye